Ryan Price, and you're watching William Blackwell on YouTube. All right, today we're gonna to talk about a Daniel Suarez and Michael McDowell incident that happened in qualifying um, in Phoenix today. Um, this is gonna be one of the people gonna be talking about for a minute because it was the first altercation since the Kyle Busch and Logano in 2016. Um, but what happened was. Michael McDowell cut off Daniel Suarez when Daniel Suarez was on a second lap in qualifying. And usually on your second lap of qualifying, your times are the fastest. And your are faster than your first lap. If not, way faster. But um, Suarez thought he did wrong and screwed up his qualifying time. But what I find interesting is that Daniel Suarez is starting P27, Michael McDowell is starting P28. And y'all might be saying, who cares about that? They're so far behind. They will ride in the same truck and drive an intro a Sunday prior to the cup race at 3.30 Eastern time. Um, so there might be something there. But Suarez, he didn't think McDowell showed him respect during qualifying, which I can agree. Um, Michael McDowell, he was trying to focus on his starting position for Sunday without thinking about the cars around him. I can, But I can see where their both opinions are. But Michael McDowell knew that he was fixing to go put to the pits because his time, like, he he was done with qualifying, so he screwed up that 41 time, which I think was wrong, but the 41 wasn't that fast, so it wasn't really that big of a factor. But, so Suarez went to him, and McDowell pushed him. I'm trying to remember what happened. And Suarez got him around him, got him in a headlock, and just turned him, twisted him down. And McDowell went down, and Drew Blickenster, the crew chief for the 34, went over there and tried to stop the fight while Suarez was trying to fight back and got him in a chokehold while Suarez was kicking both Blickenster and McDowell at the same time. And I don't know why he was trying to fight McBlickenster back, but I don't, it's kind of confusing here. But I'm on Team Suarez, but is Stuart Oz Racing happy? Gene Haas is probably ticked off. Tony Stewart is probably go get it because Swart, uh, Stewart likes it when his drivers get angry. Um, front row, they're probably not happy. Bob Jenkins, the owner, is probably going to have a talk with Michael McDowell for Sunday's race. Is NASCAR happy? No, they're not because NASCAR doesn't like these altercations. I mean, it ruins like the, the viewing of NASCAR. Um, what else? And that is, altercations can be really good for NASCAR or really bad for NASCAR. I think this is a good one because it's been a while. NASCAR needs these things, but too many of these can be really bad. But what's y'all opinions? Y'all please like and subscribe. And hope y'all like the new intro that y'all saw at the beginning of the video. If y'all still watching, but please like and subscribe. Peace.